let's uh, quickly talk about another uh, project billing rule in finance and operations which is progress billing uh, progress billing can be used on a project uh, to invoice the customer uh, the calculations can be manually done or calculations can be automatically done we are going to take the manual calculation example in this scenario in this uh, session it's quite straightforward and easy so project billing rules uh, define how we invoice the customer the billing rule is uh, defined at the project contract level uh, uh, progress billing is uh, to invoice a customer when you complete a percentage of the project you can set up billing rule to automatically calculate the percentage like i said or you can manually calculate the percentage of the progress or the work completed which has to be invoiced uh, let's take an example simple example your organization has backed an order for our software development it's agreed with the customer to develop a payroll accounting package for 20,000 US dollars. Your organization agrees to send an invoice to customer as and when you complete uh, some percentage of the work. So let's quickly take uh, this scenario in the live system, in the actual system and see how the system behaves. So I have created a simple project contract. Uh, I'll go and, and this is the contract ID 153. I'll go and add a billing rule. So the billing rule here is uh, progress <coughs> uh, and uh, let's say contract value is 20,000 and the project ID is 178. Uh, we have to select a category uh, uh, on which the, uh, the invoice to the customer is uh, raised. So this is the item or the category of fee of type fee, which will be uh, the line item of, on the project uh, invoice to customer. That's it. Uh, let's quickly save this. Now I'll go to the project. This is again a simple time and material project. I have already created it. Uh, nothing special about it. The stage is uh, currently set to is, uh, set to released. So I can go and uh, work on this project. So let's say after some time, uh, some work has been done on the project and I want to, uh, I have discussed with the customer and let's say we have agreed to that 20% of the uh, work is completed and I can invoice for 20%. So I'll go to the project contract on the maintain tab. There is process and there is manage contract status. So here I can find so this is the manual way of doing it. So uh, here I can find the update percentage and I will say I want to bill for 20%. I will do a OK and I'll come out of here and then I can go or uh, whosoever is responsible for billing, raising invoices to the customer, the project controller, project manager or finance manager will quickly go and click on invoice proposal. So system is automatically going to propose based on the billing rule that out of the contract value of uh, 20,000, 20% 20 which is basically 4,000 is uh, I can invoice. I'll go and say OK. It's taking some time. This is a trial environment. Oh, it's taking too much of time. I don't know why. <laughs> What happened? D365 crashed or what? Let's see, let's see. Yes, so uh, this is okay till here and uh, I'll go and post it. So I'll post without printing it. I don't know why it's taking so much of time. All this is hosted on the uh, on the cloud. This is a trial environment. Mostly it's it works very fast. So after the invoice is posted for uh, the 25% of the work, 
I can uh, go to the, to the project and um, let's say I want to just see the project statement, do a calculate, profit and loss and let's see the 4000 is invoice has been, uh, revenue has been uh, booked on the project. Uh, further on more work is completed, again we go back to the project contract and manually update the mm -hmm. status. Let's say it's showing me that 20% has already been invoiced and let's say now 30% of the work is done. So basically project has progressed still 50%. So I'm going to bill for next 30% of completed work. So the same process is repeated. Nothing is special about it. It's very simple and straightforward. So happy learning and thanks for viewing.